Doja Cat has burst on the scenes initially moving to winning over our hearts with really great feel good catchy songs. But what's behind that sound? Today we're going to dive deep into Doja Cat's vocal chain and it is the most expensive vocal chain thus far coming in at a whopping $23,000. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. I am Archie Beats. Doja Cat is an American rapper and singer born and raised in Los Angeles, California. I personally found out about Doja Cat when I saw this viral video about a girl singing a cow song and I was like, What's going on here? But that was a part of the plan the whole time. Since we were moving towards social media at a fast pace, and she basically jumped in front of it, and she used her smarts, because from what I hear, my opinion, Doja Cat music is very solid. It's very, very solid music. It's well-rounded, it's recorded well, and she's a pretty entertaining artist. So what did they use to capture great songs like Say So. That's why I did my detective work and we figured it out. And as we always do with our investigation, we're also gonna go through the compressor and the preamp and things like that that they use to capture the vocals. And if you guys like videos like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And also tell me what you like about Doja Cat or what you don't like about Doja Cat. Just comment below. Let's get to it. Surprisingly, Doja Cat used the Sony C800 which is a $10,000 microphone and that's the C800G to be exact and they used a Chandler Red microphone for some background vocals. And also, if you guys stick around, we have an option. If you can't afford that $10,000 microphone, we have this option here, which we will talk about as well. So why the Sony C800G? Why use this very expensive microphone? This is one of the first microphones that I worked with over 10 years ago when I was interning for the Track Stars. They had the Blue Bottle, they had the Sony C800G, and they also had the Norman U87. And this was my first time getting my hands on this mic and I'm gonna tell you right now it is a beautiful vacuum tube microphone and my other video about Beyonce she actually used this microphone early in her career as well the diaphragm is exceptionally large and it captures a modern pop upfront vocal but it also gets some of that analog warmth about it and when it converts that signal that goes down to Pro Tools or the preamp or the compressor whatever you place it in because we all are creative and art is subjective right it creates an awesome quality beautiful sound and keep in mind it has a dual capsule as well which contributes to that beautiful wide clarity quality sound they captured the signal with the sony c800g now what happened when it hit that preamp it got even warmer because those chandler tg2 pre's especially the abbey rose one is really warm and it also captured that punch so they was going from quality to quality and when they hit those new universal audio 1176s for the compression that just took it to a whole different level and then of course they went directly into pro 2 so what you get out of that is warm punch and airy and all of that high quality and it's all mixed together in a bowl and it's sent to our ears so what do you guys think about that vocal chain have you guys used this vocal chain before have you used any of the gear and i'm also going to put some options below in the description if you guys use the links in the description it does have this channel so i can do more videos like this and more other cool videos and we get to experiment and we get to just have fun on my channel ten thousand dollars is a little bit too much for you the two thousand dollar pre is a little bit too much the two thousand dollar compressor is a little bit too much there are options there are two options right now that i know of right now in the market i haven't quite tested the slate microphones yet but i can tell you right now the antelope axino this microphone is a mic modeling microphone and the sony c800g is actually modeled in here so if you guys purchase this microphone and it's usb i guarantee you you're gonna get really close to it trust me i've used this microphone it has 18 vintage microphones that it models as far as the preamp you can record this usb microphone directly into there i do know that once you go out of this microphone they do have with the antelope audio axino software they do have options of preamps that you can use and you can just use your ears to test around it there are other plugins that you can use as well there are a lot of wave plugins that you can use a lot of the wave channel strips and preamps i'm definitely a fan of it's inexpensive so you can rack up quite a few of the wave plugins which i really like i'm always a fan of that and or you can go universal audio route they have a lot of um, vintage pre's 
it doesn't really matter about the name with the with these vintage preamps it's all about what are you trying to accomplish are you trying to get warmth and airy and punchy that would be the chandler tg and if you're trying to get like a vintage kind of punchy warm low end you can get the 1073 that would contribute to the sony c800 in a very positive way very high quality way as well fortunately for us we live in an age to where everybody's using universal audio and somewhere in their vocal chain which doja cat they use a universal audio 8p for everything to go in then to go into pro tools of course they bypass the um the preamps the unison pre's that's in the apollo and to be honest they could have actually used the universal audio 1176 plug-in universal audio makes this hardware and they also make the plug-in and they've gotten really really close so as i stated i have everything listed down below in the description so you you guys want to help the channel out make sure you do that and you guys have been absolutely fantastic don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video especially if you like videos like this where we go and we investigate we dive deep into why did they use this what's the point of this thank you guys so much for supporting my channel you guys are absolutely fantastic don't forget to be great and create this is your barcha beats and i'm signing off